to vlogtober day five it's the 5th of october it's monday um i am just starting work i'm just settling down i've had a workout and i have um got ready and i have put a load of washing on for my daughter um, my kids normally do their own washing but um she's been away so she's not had a chance to do it so i said i'd do it for her today so i've put her washing on um and i'm just settling in for my morning um i haven't even checked my emails yet so <laughs> i shall do that in a sec um i suddenly realized that i have done my hat wrong that i started yesterday which um that's my problem my my bad i am um, obviously got very over enthusiastic to start it and i didn't hold the fingering weight yarn double i just held it with the mohair so <laughs> it's really pretty let's see how pretty is that so i'm going to rip that out this morning and um then yeah re-knit it <laughs> so oops i was tempted just to carry on and make it as a child's hat but um to be fair i haven't really got a child to give it to so i'm not going to do that i'm going to rip it out so i'm going to do that in a minute take the needles out Luckily, I was really, really enjoying knitting it anyway, so it's no big deal to store it again. But what's what a woolly <laughs> all the things? The funny thing was, I was knitting it, thinking, "Oh, this isn't as thick as I thought it would be." Well, no, that's because you haven't done it properly. Oh dear! It's going to be fun to take apart as well, isn't it? Because it's mohair. It's going to be fun to rip out. So I'm going to do that now. I have the needles. Um, and start that again. Water poly. Honestly. Never mind. Um, so how are you all today? I'm fine. Um, I have a busy work day ahead of me. Um, so of course, with a busy work day ahead, what's the one thing you're going to do? You're going to sit here and rip the hat, the hat back that you um, <laughs> made the mistake of. The thing is, I want to get this on the needles so that if I, when I'm caught on phone calls and things today, I can just sit and knit on it. But, um, oops, I should probably round some of this up. I also need to be careful to wind this around this and not over it so that I can pull from the middle as well. I can't believe I did that. I really can't believe I did that, but never mind. These things are sent to try us. Oh, so I have some good news this morning. Um, I weigh in on a Monday morning. Um, so I weigh myself on a Monday rather than every day because I get obsessive if I do that. Um, and I've lost four pounds this week, um, which is the first time since I've started working out that I've actually lost, I've maintained the whole time. I haven't put any on, which is nice, but I hadn't lost any either, which I was kind of a bit bummed about, although my eating's not been great, so I'm not quite sure what I was expecting, um, you know. But I've been much better eating this week, and yeah, I've lost four pounds, so I'm really chuffed with that. Long may it continue. That would be good. This is going to end up as a giant angle, isn't it? need to be very delicate with it I think <laughs> right I'm gonna go and sort this out because at the moment I'm covered in mohair and yarn and if um, the phone rings that's going to be a bit of a disaster busy work day I haven't got anything done <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's been one of those days today.
Oh, I finished work. It's been one of those days. It's been a proper Monday today. Um, if it could go wrong, it did and has. <laughs> but never mind. Pretty much done now. Um, so I was just running through my comments and I've got one from um, the third. So that was my hat one. So loads of lovely um, hat suggestions. Thank you to everybody who um, responded on that one. A special hi to Kel Bell, who is um, a first-time commenter. Um, okay, so Jane Edwards, do you live near me? <laughs> and what is it with them and their leaf blowers? I have a theory. Um, I don't know whether anybody else finds this, but there's always a job in the household where somebody actually doesn't mind doing it because it's really easy and really quick. And if they do it, it looks like they've done something so they don't have to do anything else for the rest of the day. Can't help feeling that's him with his leaf blower. If he does that, then, you know, he's done his chores for the day. Who knows, he's had it on twice today. I haven't had a chance to record it because I was working, but... Unbelievable. Um, hi, Jane. Epiphany. <laughs> um, local fibre festival, that's cool. Oh, I think the socially distanced fibre festivals are going to be the way to go, aren't they? We have to work them out. But hello to everybody else because it's really sweet and you're all commenting hello. So that was that one and then, right Gaylor shut your ears for a minute. I'll manage to do it without the music coming on. <laughs> so, lovely Gaynor Tales of Cookie Land who is also doing um, vlogs. So people I know that are doing vlogs are Gaynor Tales of Cookie Land, Ali Little Drops of Wonderful, um, Green Lampkin Yarn, um, So Unique. Then there's a couple I know that are going to try and do weekly ones, but until they've done them, I'm not going to mention them just in case. <laughs> but there's a couple of people I know that want to do those. Um, and Laura, Lo Lonely Knitter, she's doing them as well. Um, so I'm glad you all enjoyed the um, matching of the um, pom-poms with the yarn and the floof. It's so nice to shop the stash. Now I know I've got a lot of stash and part of me knows that I'm squirrelling it because I can get it now um, and there'll come a time when I retire and I won't be able to get it so um, but equally it was really nice to shop the stash and match everything up so that was it was a good feeling um, so now um, who is it Amy Amy Rose Jarrett um, who got the kick out seeing an orange tail go through the screen I don't know where she is she's not up there which is really unusual um yes um your post made me realize that i hadn't held the yarn double i was literally like looking at it going oh, i've forgotten to do that i meant to i was holding it double with mohair i said it all the way through and I, that's the post that made me realize i hadn't done it so i've ripped that back and started again <laughs> yeah i did make a dent in my yarn hope that was danielle <laughs> Tangled thread. How can you not react to a cute kitten stealing the limelight? Yes. Bless her. Um, right, so Gaynor, we need to see the leaf blower man's garden. Is it pristine and immaculate? Probably. Can't see it because it's really high walls all the way round. Um, <laughs> so, and I'm sorry, your um, um, my music gives you um, heart palpitations. That's not good. That's really not good. Should I change my music? Would you like me to change my music, Gaynor? If you would, give me a message. <laughs> Quite happy to. I don't want to scare you. I'd rather have you watching it. Um, ugh. So that's my comments for the moment. And I've got some happy mail. It's turned up a couple of days ago, but I've only just got round to opening it. And it is from the lovely Vicky, West Green Loft Yarns, who I am a Patreon of and she gave us the opportunity to buy her Christmas colourway and it is um, Christmas bauble and it's gorgeous really soft and squidgy I don't know it just says bouncy sock so I'm not quite sure what the makeup of it is feels like it could be an MCN but um, I will look that up and get back to you in a moment bouncy sock is an 80-10 it is so soft. Feels like a cashmere, but it's not. It's really soft and squidgy. So that's pretty. So at some point I'm going to make myself a pair of Christmas socks out of this. This is for me. I'm not making it for anybody else. 
Um, so sweet. So I think it's available on her website now. Um, and it's called Christmas Bauble. I've got the um, Lay Family Yarn Huga box to open, but I haven't opened that yet, so I thought I might save that one for tomorrow. I am slightly concerned I haven't got an awful lot of content for today. Now, there's some larking about last night by my children, um, which I may or may not have caught on camera, so if you see it, um, it'll either be before this or after this. <laughs> no kidding. That was a silly thing to say, wasn't it? If you see it, <laughs> it worked. If it didn't, um, I was mucking about the settings on my camera, so I have no idea if it worked or not. But, so I am now restarting my hat. And uh, yeah, that's as far as I've got. But never mind, I'd rather get it right. And uh, I'm using the hedgerow yarn. And the West Green Loft yarn. Mohair silk, um, which I've obviously I've frogged and I'm re knitting. Oh, another vlog. Grace, um, Babbles Travelling Yarns, um, Grace is doing October, a vlogtober, or at least sort of. Again, I think she'll dip in and out as she can. Um, and she's got a new podcast up, so I spent the bits that I could listening to a podcast today, which wasn't very much listening to Grace. So I'm going to knit knit for an hour. It's four o'clock. No, it's just after four o'clock. So I'm going to knit for an hour and then I'm going to start making tea at five. It's the ripping stuff, isn't it? Um, if anything else exciting happens, I will turn the camera on for you. <laughs> this is what I've been doing today whilst working. I have been sorting out washing at the same time. That's thrilling isn't it? I am going to go back to my little corner and knit for a while while the dinner's cooking. Yummy dinners! This is featuring me again cooking. It is! Charlie does all the cooking in the house. Yeah. Chef, chop up. So we've got some mushroomy broccoli bits going on. I believe we're having more than mushrooms and broccoli. And some burgers. Ah. But like, just like the meat. Not the, Not the buns. Not the buns. And then there's potato skins. And Kate's doing something that involves an entire field of mushrooms. Yeah. Probably another pump here. Yeah. And Dan's making a sandwich. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Reese is just making faces. Waiting for. Yeah. Kate, what are you making? Sticky mushroom wraps for lunch this week. That'll be Chinesey. So it involves a lot of soy sauce and honey, does it? Mm -hmm. Yum. And then the. <laughs> right, so I am rounding off tonight's vlog. Um, I've just had a hilarious exchange with my children, but um, bear in mind there are kids that watch this. That is not going in my vlog. Um, and whole, the whole part of the reason that I'm doing the vlogs because um, I've kind of had to say to them, uh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Try and tone it down for vlogmas. But um, I don't think I've got an awful lot for today, so I'm really sorry. But um, it's just been a normal day. Lots of work, lots of washing. Um, I've got a sick Megan, which is not helpful. 
she's suffering with migraines at the moment and um, has been really really ill today so I've been dealing with that I've been dealing with my middle daughter and a phone contract and an Apple watch contract so it's just been lots of stuff that would <laughs> I can't really video, don't really want to video Mix while she's ill, bless her, and um, you know, you don't really don't need to know about Charlie's phone contract. Um, so a bit more of a reality day today, but um, I am going to put together what I've got, and um, I will start again tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. <laughs>